today I'm going to be planting a heart-shaped succulent and air plant wreath. This is a pretty fun, pretty easy project that you can do at home, so let's just go ahead and get started. For this project, I'm going to be using a 12-inch heart-shaped wreath form. Typically when we make our wreaths, we'll go ahead and use pre-made wreath forms, but for this project, I did make my own. I'd say unless you want a little bit of an extra challenge, I'd recommend just using a pre-made wreath form. Either way, we're going to go ahead and link both options down below. I'm going to be using a variety of bright colored 4 inch and 2 inch succulents, possibly a handful of cuttings, and then I also have a few fun air plants for texture and some preserved Spanish moss. Some of the tools I'm going to be using are a bunch of floral pins, I've got a screwdriver, a paintbrush, and some scissors. So the first thing I'm going to do is make sure my wreath form is moist. It's really hard to plant into a dry wreath, so getting it moist beforehand is going to make planting it a whole lot easier. My plan is just to start working my way around the form in no specific order, but I do like for my plant types to be evenly dispersed, so I'm just going to concentrate on that. The first thing I'm going to do is decide where I want my plant to go, and then I'm going to break down the root ball. I'm going to dig a hole into the moss, insert my plant, and pin it into place. I'll continue this process until my wreath is almost completely full. all planted up. What I did was I went in and planted all of my larger succulents first and then I went back in and filled in any blank spaces with my air plants and my smaller cuttings that you can see tucked in there. At this point if you're happy with your wreath you can go ahead and be finished but if you do want to take it one step further you can surround the outer and inner edges with a preserved Spanish moss. Now this is totally optional, but I personally like the look of Spanish moss. It can really help to fill in any gaps or spaces in your wreath and make your wreath appear even more full and lush. So now that I've got my wreath all wrapped in moss, I'm going to dust off my plants with my paintbrush really quick and then I'll be ready to hang it. Because we've used plants that are really colorful, I'm going to hang my wreath in a spot that receives at least a few hours of really bright indirect sun per day just to be sure my colors don't fade and it stays really bright and cheery. I'll water my wreath about every week or so when the moss is dry to the touch. I really hope you guys liked this video. Be sure to let us know what you think in the comments below and thanks so much for watching.